Hello, I'm going to talk to you about the principle of the conservation of energy. Here I have an object. It's a little mass here. It's capable of uh, vibrating on this spring. It's also capable of rotating. And I'm going to show that there'll be an interplay between and among four kinds of energy. There'll be gravitational potential energy due to elevation. There'll be energy of the stretched spring. That'll be the elastic energy. There'll be rotational kinetic energy, and there will be translational or vibrational kinetic energy. Now I'm going to start by doing some work on the system. I'm going to add some energy to the system by exerting a force with my hand and moving that force through a distance and increasing its gravitational potential energy. And now that it has that gravitational potential energy, when I release it, watch what happens to the energy. The total energy will remain constant as it gets transferred from one form to another. It's interesting that when the vibration up and down ceases, the rotational motion and the rotational energy is greatest. Similarly, the rotation motion will cease when it reaches the end of the path and the uh, gravitational potential energy is the greatest up at the top and the energy of the stretch spring is the greatest at the bottom. So we see that the energy remains constant. The sum of those four energies add up to a constant value, conservation of energy.